best shirt now available. Link in the description. The Washington Times headline today, U.S. Navy on alert because of the largest ever joint naval exercise conducted by China and Russia. Now, I've been covering the movement of the world's militaries for months now. It seems like every report leads with the same line, largest ever. And personally, it concerns this reporter that every exercise is larger than the next. It's an international pissing match between world superpowers. So in this report, we're gonna take a look at what the Chinese media is saying about the Chinese-Russian exercise, as well as the massive amount of US hardware that's being shipped to the Black Sea. We'll also take a look at what one Ukrainian National Guardsman has to say about the US military presence there. And that's all, I'm gonna show you exclusive footage from Operation Atlantic Resolve of US and Estonian forces training together. But first, China and Russia. The seven Chinese warships are in the Sea of Japan with a fleet of Russian vessels. The Chinese and Russian navies have kicked off a nine day joint drill on Thursday. It is their second joint naval drill so far this year. The Joint Sea 2015 2 exercise is being held in the Peter the Great Gulf waters off the Clerk Cape and the Sea of Japan. The exercise, Joint Sea 2015 2, will take place. Uh, from today through to next Friday. A six helicopters, five fixed wing aircraft, 21 units of amphibious equipment, and 200 Marines will also join from the Chinese side. And the Russian Navy, meanwhile, will send 16 surface ships, two submarines, 12 naval aircraft, nine amphibious vehicles, and 200 Marines. China's defense ministry said in July that a key purpose of the drills is to further enhance their capabilities of jointly coping with maritime security threats. China and Russia have held five joint naval exercises since 2005. Did you hear that list of hardware? The reason that they're bringing it all out there is to jointly cope with maritime security threats. So who are the threats? What's going on on the other side of the planet? Well, take a look at this. This is exclusive footage of 480 tons of United States military armored vehicles being shipped to Novoselo Training Area in Bulgaria. The combined arms company will be taking possession as part of the Black Sea Rotational Force for NATO. So what exactly are they shipping? You see one right there, an M1A1 Abrams battle tank, armored assault vehicles, artillery equipment, and logistics vehicles. They're shipping out of North Carolina by way of Germany so they can provide, quote, enhanced capabilities during military exercises in the region. Enhanced capabilities, that's a curious statement. Folks, these are war machines. They're being sent to send a message. So that's going on in Bulgaria, but check this out. Exercise Fearless Guardian is underway training soldiers of the Ukrainian National Guard. They're practicing hand signals and noise awareness. Now, one Ukrainian soldier had this to say about American training. Take a look. Я хотів подякувати американським солдатам, американського правительства, що вони зробили чи навчання. He said, have a nice day. Ukrainian soldiers being trained by the United States. Now, the only reason is the threat posed from Russia, so they claim. Folks, our world leaders are not kidding around. There is a serious buildup occurring on a planetary scale. Every military drill is topping the next one. Every superpower is flexing their muscles. So let's jump over to Estonia now. Just a few days ago, soldiers from Destin and Hound Company from the 503rd Infantry were jumping out of helicopters alongside members of the Estonian Defense League. Estonia shares a border with Russia, folks. This is happening on Russia's back door. And do you think they like it? I don't think they do. So should we care? Should we care? Well, folks, Russia is responding in turn by partnering with China in the largest naval display ever. It's a ruthless cycle, tit for tat. 
Folks, the Cold War is alive and well, and no one's even talking about it while staring us all right in the face. So I ask you, what is the answer? How do we fix the insanity of these world leaders? Is this just par for the course or just saber rattling? Is it all bark, no bite? Is war truly on the horizon? I'm gonna ask you to weigh in in the comment section below, hit that share button. And also remember, become a patron of this channel and support our work through Patreon. All we're asking is five bucks a month to keep this channel going. We can't do it without you. For the Next News Network, I'm Gary Franchi.